Hi, I'm Stephen Downs. Welcome to week two of the Personal Learning MOOC, NRC01PL. Don't forget that tag. So in this week, we're going to look at content knowledge versus practice. And what we'll be doing for the most part is looking at the traditional content delivery model of online learning as compared to some of the criticisms of it that led to new models such as MOOCs, CMOOCs, and all the rest of it. So we'll look at things like learning objects, content packages, and learning design. And as the week progresses, we'll begin asking what's wrong with this model. In the end, what I'm going to argue is that What's missing from these models isn't the need for social interaction so much. The traditional models have always presumed that social interaction takes place in the classroom, perhaps, or in the discussion lists. What I'm going to argue here is that what we're missing in the traditional models is practice. That learning is presented as something that's very static, very isolated, very apart from everything else. And that what we really need is an environment where we're actually doing stuff and the learning is presented as a resource. But that's anticipating a lot of stuff to come. So what are we up to? On Monday, we'll get uh, an intro video and some readings. The readings are readings that you saw from the beginning of the course. They're the Learning Objects paper and the Learning Networks paper. Now, if you haven't read them or you don't want to read long papers, that's okay. The two videos in the course are covering basically the same concept. So if you really want to do just watch the videos and ignore the reading, that's cool. On the other hand, if you want to ignore the videos and just go to the reading, that works too. And the intro video, of course, is this video, which you're watching. So you're already into the week. Tuesday, we'll have our first hangout. I'll still be in Ottawa. Actually, I'll be in Castleman, which is where I live. I'll be hanging out from my home office. Hopefully, the bandwidth will be good. And we'll begin to have a bit of a talk about the traditional model, talk about the uh, environment that we found ourselves in, what we see there, what we feel the limitations are there, and look at some of the underlying ideas behind the content-based learning model. Then, moving on, Wednesday is the first video. Now, because I'm traveling this week, these videos will be posted before the day. So for those of you who like to look at all the videos in one sitting, you can do that. Um, but this video is designed for Wednesday. It's an overview of learning objects, the idea behind learning objects, and some of the technology that supports them. It's a 15 minute video, it should go pretty quickly. Uh, as well, discussion and assignments, right? So you wanna be answering the questions that have been posed for this, uh, for this week. In the discussion area, you wanna be sharing your resources They'll be shared in turn in the, um, in the newsletter and you want to be thinking about what you want to write in your blog. Remember last week we had a video about how to create the blog. Thursday, next video. This is a longer one. This is 52 minutes long. I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm not that sorry. Um, I took longer for this one because basically I'm representing a talk that I gave in 2004 and I, I had the exact wording for the talk with me and that talk has no original video. Even the original slides are not, not available. They're in a file but the file is corrupt. I can't open it. So I wanted to represent that content. It's 12 years old but it's still effective as a criticism of the traditional model of learning using a learning management system. It's still an effective criticism, in my mind, of the open edX environment in which we're working today. So there you have it. You have that video, or you, know, you can cover the same content much more quickly, perhaps, if you're reading the article. But if you're reading the article, you don't get you know, all of my expression, my hand movements, all the rest. Uh, Friday, second hangout. This hangout will be done from Turkey. Is it going to work? I don't know. I hope it does. Should work. 
check your time conversions make sure it's 12 o'clock eastern standard time eastern standard time in ottawa which translates to i don't know what in turkey uh like seven o'clock seven p.m eight p.m something like that so check your time zones but it'll be set for 12 o'clock eastern i'll get it right so just make sure that that you get it right friday that's Friday. Something special for Saturday. On Saturday, I'm presenting my keynote in Istanbul. It's called The Future of Educational Media. So I don't know what the environment will be before I get there. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a major Western developed city. There should be internet. Um, but it's in a hotel, so, you know, who knows? Um, but uh, I'm going to try to stream it if I can. If I can't, uh, my intent is to video record it somehow. And if I can't do that, minimally there'll be an audio recording plus slides. One way or another, the uh, video, the, uh, the presentation will be available for you on Saturday, um, you know, 10 a.m. Istanbul time, so it ends around 11 figure another couple hours after that depending on what happens uh, but sometime Saturday the latest Sunday you should have it available but if I'm able to stream it live it'll be at 10 a.m. Istanbul time if you click on the link now this link will be is available just look up above or below rather below the video um, in the edX system and you'll see these links and you can click on the link and uh, that'll get you to the, uh, the time conversion table. And that time conversion table will tell you what time the talk is, your time. I'll tell you though, 10.30 a.m. by the time we get to next week, and again we have, you know, uh, we go from standard time to daylight time. But anyhow, it's, it's 3 a.m. Eastern time. So those of you in North America probably are not watching it live. So that's week two and uh, i look forward to reading your tweets there's a volume of tweets i've seen already today i look forward to uh reading your articles and uh and the conversations catch you tomorrow and now i'm stopping